Somewhere deep in this woodland lies one of Scotland's most elusive creatures. Unfortunately, it's so elusive I, I don't actually know what it is or, or what I'm looking for, but it's there. Probably. Fortunately, I'm not alone on this expedition. I've also got my faithful sniffer dog Tink to sniff out any hint of a trail of whatever it is we might be looking for. I don't know, nor do I think I want to know, quite what this is. But I can very sincerely say I hope it has nothing to do with what I'm looking for. Ooh, we found it, Tink. Clearly it's small. Sightings of mysterious creatures in these woodlands date back hundreds of years, but reports of not having seen what we're looking for today date back since time immemorial. Um, there are stories that the druids who originally founded these forests uh, never saw what we're after today. And it, it's stories like that that give us hope on an expedition such as this. Weird. Something appears to have sneezed on this tree. Now I'm not saying that this is definitely a sign that the creature that we're looking for has been here, but it could well be a sign that it suffers from hay fever. What do you think, Tink? Tink, look at this. Look. Or well, maybe just Tink's knotted on it. We've been searching for hours and still no sign of whatever it is we're looking for. Crap, what was that? Oh, it's just another tree. Um, there's a lot of trees here. Tink's found something. Could it be a clue? Oh no, it's just a bit of rubbish. Well done, Tink. Tink clearly isn't trying very hard, so I've cast her aside and I'm continuing on my own. Mushrooms, a possible food source for this creature, if it eats mushrooms. This flower here is a foxglove. Now to most things, eating this is poisonous and isn't a good idea. Uh, for our elusive creature, this probably applies as well. So we can rule them out as a food source. There was a spider on there a minute ago, but I don't know where it's gone. It was very small. Now this is exciting. Look at this. Something appears to have snotted all over this tree as well. And this is well, you see, this is as high as, this is as high as me, so we can rule out Tink, definitely, as to having been the, the sneezing culprit in this circumstance. Whatever this means, I'm sure it means we're getting closer. Now littering the floor here, there's a very large number of very small mushrooms. I'm working on a theory that this has something to do with the reproductive cycle of whatever it is I'm looking for. And if that's true, it's clearly been quite busy. Now, I'm completely guessing that up in the branches of a tree like this would be the perfect place to 
uh, hide out and wait for the creature to come along. Um, we can sit here quite comfortably and just wait for it to come to us. It's not here yet. I suppose it might be. Uh, just can't see it. I might have been wrong, I don't think it's coming. Not dissuaded by this, I'm journeying deeper into the forest. Steps like these have been installed by the Forestry Commission all over Scotland, and they are very, very commonly used by whatever it is that we're looking for, as they have very big flat feet and don't like walking up inclines. It's interesting, isn't it? Now this here is a classic sign of what we're looking for. You can see on the floor there, there's some moss and that's where the creature has just come along and plucked the moss from the trunk of the tree and discarded it on the floor. Why it's done this, however, I've got no idea. More steps, I must be getting close. This here fence is a classic example of how the people of Scotland are trying to deal with uh, living in an ecosystem with this creature. They've tried to put up fences all over the place to prevent it from getting into and interfering with their land. Um, unfortunately, they've got no idea how well this has worked. Look at the size of this mushroom. Now this is as sure a sign as any that I'm getting close. There's another one there, next to all the open ground and loads of little ones all over the floor. On occasion, the creature will leave the density of the trees and the woodland and come out into slightly more open ground like this. Um, why, we're not exactly sure, but you can see all over the ground where it's... Well, no, I suppose you can't really see, can you? Um, no, there's no trace of that there at all. See here, another large patch of foxgloves. Note how they've not been interfered with at all by the creature that we're looking for. There's a tree there. Probably a good sign. Now, as we all know from the stories, this is the exact kind of bridge that goblins live under. Of course, we're not looking for a goblin, so it's of very little help to us at all. However, here, they've been snotting on the trees again. Crashing through this undergrowth a moment ago, I thought I saw what might be the thing I'm looking for, but it turned out it was just a pile of crap. Really think I should have found this bloody thing by now. Starting to get a bit fed up with all of this. Oh, is that it? No. 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 Oh, down there, is that it? Oh, no. Oh, is that it there? Oh, uh, no. Is that it? No. Is that it? No. Oh, is that... No, that's foxgloves. Is that it? No. Is that it? No. Is that it? No. It's just some twigs. Oh, oh, is that it? No. Oh, balls to it. I can't find it. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. That's a foxglove. That's not it. That's a post. That's not it. 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 See that over there? That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. See that down there? That's not it. Oh, oh, you see that? That's not it either. That most very definitely is not it. 
Well, I suppose you could say that that was just one big colossal waste of time, but frankly, I've got some chocolate now, so I don't really care. Hmm.